Hello everyone, uh, I'm back with a little update. It is time now to uh, add the y-axis and for that I'm going to use two aluminum profiles. It's kind of like a T-shape. T-shape and then I'm going to use these um, rollers. Um, it's going to be Two on each, um, two on each side, so before, and then I'm gonna try to find a lighter weight, uh, probably I don't know if aluminum or or maybe just uh, regular plywood. We'll see, but for now that's that's the uh, the next step, making the sliding y-axis. So let's see how it goes. Hello YouTube, I'm back with a, a little update. Okay, so I already did had done on the previous video the uh, this is gonna be the X axis and I show you how I connected the motor and everything. So now the the Y axis is I did it with two aluminum rails. I'm going to show you. And some sliding uh, mechanism. So I put two on each side. And as you can see, I, I already hooked up the motor. Very unconventionally. <laughs> what I did is I took the two screws out of the the motor and I run a, a copper wire through them to hold it. As you can see it's held there. Very unconventionally but it works pretty good. If I turn it nice. It's got a little bitty wobble but the reason first of all this is very secure and at the same time, because when I drill the hole on the threaded rod, I didn't drill it perfectly aligned with the with the rod, so it had a little wobble, but it's pretty nice. I mean, it's enough. As you can see you can move. If I turn it, it moves. Okay, so that's how I did the... Uh, the Y axis so so this piece is gonna slide pretty good. I'm gonna buy a longer rod but for now for for testing it is it's got a I think it's a two, 24 inch rod or something like that. I'm gonna probably put a a three feet rod later on. But what I wanted to show you too is the way I held the rod. Look at this. Okay, this is a plastic thing that I melted and I left the hex nut embedded in the plastic and now I have it and I screwed it from the top. I'm going to show you. It's screwed there and I only put a screw to align it now. I'm going to put the other screw here. Maybe a couple more, but two is enough. And that's how I am holding the rod. And I'm going to show you how I did that piece. Okay, what I did is I uh, used pieces of plastic. You know, this is not cut right, but the other one was cut perfect. And then I was with a torch. With a torch, I melted. Where is the torch? I warmed this side and then this side and when they were uh, melted I put it here and I built it up built it up until it was embedded in the melted plastic and it worked pretty good so uh, I've been experimenting with the plastic and you can see it's pretty nicely it can be machined pretty nice I cut this with a router uh, for the next part, 
either I'm gonna try to make a gear out of this so I can hook it up to this part because if I hook up the motor it's pretty hard for a little motor so I'm gonna have to gear it put a, a, a gear maybe like 3 to 1 or something or maybe 5 to 1 ratio so I'm gonna try to make this into a gear and then put a smaller gear with the motor next either that or I found this long time ago well I salvaged it from a kids electric cart this is the gear that turns the wheels and there's some gears here that I'm gonna open and see if I can either hook up the motor here and use that higher torque connected here but we'll see for now I don't know I'm gonna try to make the gears first and if not I'll, I'll use this probably so thanks for watching